Former Bifena Bifena Koli Senso Maiwa was allegedly attacked by his wife Mendy Samakais after his girlfriend Kelly Kumalo took off his jewelry and watch after he was pronounced dead in the hospital. In the Gauteng High Court in Pretoria, where five men are accused of killing the soccer star, Kelly's sister Zendi Kumalo gave the following testimony. On October 26, 2014, Maiwa was shot and killed in Kelly's mother's home in Boslorus. Boxburg. Kumalo testified on Friday that two trespassers shot Maiwa and then transported him to the hospital in his BMW X6. Kumalo, Tumalo met Lala, and Tokazisi Twala sat in the rear with Maiwa while Kelly operated the vehicle. Kumalo recalled pulling Senso out from under his arms and into the car as soon as he opened the right back door. Kumalo claimed that while on the way to the hospital, she touched Maiwa's cheek and ordered him to keep his eyes open since they were getting close to the facility. Kumalo broke down in tears as she admitted to the court that she was doing her best to keep Maiwa away. Kumalo claimed she sprinted into the hospital after arriving and yelled for assistance. Later, Kumalo's mother and Kelly's mother visited the hospital and inquired about Maiwa's whereabouts. The hospital staff directed her to the room where he had been placed. Kumalo declared, After that, my mother moved in that direction, and a little while after, she started crying. She claimed that Maiwa had passed away, according to her mother and a doctor. Kelly then asked me to join her inside where she asked to see him. Kumalo remembers Kelly entering the space and engaging Maiwa in conversation, but she was unable to recall her exact words. Kumalo claims that after kissing Maiwa on the forehead, her sister took off his watch and jewelry. She testified before the court that Makais and other others later came at the hospital. Kumalo remarked Kelly's braids were being pulled out when Makais and her companions approached her. Kelly, according to her, was being attacked while Makais yelled, you killed him. Kumalo claimed that she broke up the altercation and advised Makais that the moment was not right for brawl. They then turned around and headed home. This version ran counter to Twala's assertion that Makais was not participating in the fight because she was standing next to him at the hospital. Medlala had also testified that Maiwa's wife and girlfriend had quarreled.